Yo, what's going on people and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. Just before I get into this video, I just want to let everyone know the Beat channel will be separate now. So that'll be in the description below. Give me a follow and a subscribe there. This video is going to be another Kingsway sample that sounds like this. So if you like that, stick around and I'll show you some techniques that I've been using to make samples like this. So the first thing I did was have these keys that I made that sound like this. So they're pretty simple calls, nothing too special, and I'll show you the effects that I used on them. So I use this Kramer tape just to give it like a vintage warped effect. This DLYM that just gives it like a slow flanger, just quite low rate and quite high depth, so it gives it like a cool texture. And then just a reverb, took out some lows, boost some pre uh, like resonance at the highs just to give it a little bit more brightness. And then I rendered the keys to put in their own channel, and then I used this send track that makes like a, it's called a timeless filter. It gives it like a modulized effect, so it gives it a different uh, texture and just make, it gives it a little bit of variety throughout the sample. And then a delay just to, like a flange of delay just to s spread out the space of the sample and then just run it through another tape again. And then I did the same thing with these keys, but I reversed them and put them higher pitch. It sounds like this. As I said, used the higher pitch. Took out loads of lows and highs just to, because I wanted to filter it out a little bit. And then just another vinyl effect that just gives it like a slight analog warped effect. Slowed it down, but wanted to give it like a fluttered in and out effect, like a pulsing effect. So one eighth on that. And then just to make it that pulsing effect again, just side chained it on a one bar basis. And then just filtered it for a chamber just to give it like a really, really spatial feel and the next thing i added was this pluck sound that sounds like this and then with this you can see i automated it so i'll show you how i did the automation so i used this valve compressor and with the wow flutter effect i automated it so at half at, at points it will go up to like 24 or something so it just gives it a slight uh, effect and just gives it a different uh, just like detunes it at certain points so it gives it a cool effect and for this I also EQ'd it made it wider with this mid side and just panned it left to right there's not too much to go into that and then the next thing I did with this pluck was I made a duplicate then make it slower so I stretched it out so it sounds like this And as you can see, it has like a slowed down time effect. That's just from the Wolf compressor. And then on that, added a kick start just to make it side chain so it pulses again. Then a chorus just to thin it out, give it some more air so I can other spaces and other sounds can uh, breathe. And then a delay just to fill out that space a little bit. And then just took out some lows. And then I routed that again to a send track where I crystallized it just to give it that... Uh, texture a different pitch to it just every now and again it has like a delay on it as well so it gives a like different listen to what the main sample would be next thing i added was this synth accent that was just throughout just not too uh, common but it sounds like this as you can tell heavily processed and with that Another kickstart just to give it that pulse inside chain effect that was fully on. Then I wanted to give it like this uh, stereo depth sine wave just to give it a little fluttered feeling and just a different sound to what the others would be. It modulizes it a little bit and just delays it, so it's pretty cool. And just an EQ and uh, reverb as usual. And then once I did that, I send track again. This is what I've been doing quite a lot using send tracks to give it the original sample just a different feeling and texture especially when you delay it sounds pretty cool so then a delay shaper box but that was just to pan it left to right but didn't to go too crazy on that then a second delay just to fill out them spaces and then just took out some lows because i didn't want the delayed lows to be 
too busy in the beat. Then next I added this perk loop that sounds like this. And with that, I downsampled it to 1K just to take the high pitches out and resonance off the like the rim shot that was in there. Pitched it back up 12 semitones, put like a symphonic flange on it just to give it like a diffused feedback sound, pretty cool. And then just took out them lows that I didn't like. Then next, I added this low frequency flute that sounds like this. just fits that mood perfect and just like a slow warped effect oh and with that i also duplicated it into an organ as well just to layered it and then with that i flanged a vinyl effect again ran it through there a reverb minimal reverb because i didn't want it to just take up too much and just took out an eq as usual and then on the organ primal tap just to give it that slight depth rate and then i used this 16th delay just to fill in them gaps that weren't being used as well, I was using one fourths and one eighths on other ones, and then mix, general mix on the reverb, reverb and the EQ. Then I layered this pluck and guitar. Mm -hmm. Then with sounds like this, I like to have a different attack for each, especially when you're layering them, because sometimes when you layer two sounds that are quite similar and they attack at the same time, cause like collisions so i just put up the attack a bit of hold and just a slight release and for that i use this slap bass detune like a chorus up thing eq then just like a delay uh, vinyl effect again after that i put in my own vocals that sound like this Then for my vocals, I put a quite a high pitch on the pitch and then took the formant down a lot. Then I used the shaper boxes to give it that uh, sidechain effect, just wanted to cut out the start of each of the samples. Falanja to diffuse it again, give it a cool feedback. EQ as usual, delay as usual. I used this delay just to give it that, just to make it more stereo. Then I detuned it with another vinyl, used a different type of delay just to give it that warped uh, effect and fill in the gaps for that the sample that was not showing and then i added a deep vocal that was just a half time and then i just took out some mud with the eq with the half time and then after that i went to add the bass the bass was jeweled with a uh, slide guitar that sounds like this And with that, I just paired it to the uh, root notes of the piano. With the guitar and the slide, I just made them bounce off each other so it gives it a cool uh, effect and just gives it a bit more rhythm. And with the bass, I just took out some lows and that was pretty much it. And then finally, at the start, I just added a rows that fit the same keys using the same uh, effects that sound like this. And as you can tell, they're like layered with a pad sort of thing, just to give it an atmospheric vibe. And then in this gap where the bass comes out, I added a uh, just another pluck, but I arpeggiated it, so it gives it a cool rhythm and a bounce. It sounds like this. And with that, I just took out the attack as usual, and then I put no effects on that whatsoever. And then I rendered out the final sample and took it down by three semitones, so it sounds like this. So the key is with these type of samples is timing, sound selection 
and just using the mix and just sending like cool send tracks and stuff like that just give it different textures and just give it a different type of feeling and just try try things that you're not really used to and like automating sort of thing i don't really use that much but i've been trying to use that a lot and it just gives it a new sense of like melody and gives it cool texture so yeah if you like this video give me a like subscribe my instagram will be on the page as usual and then yeah i'll see you in the next one people peace